Welcome to World School TV with your host, Trina Baldwin. We all share a common passion of travel, and we all share the same desire to educate our kids through the world of travel. And you know what? We all share the same fears as well. So let's blast those fears away and confidently commence or continue our world schooling adventure. Each week we'll be chatting with guests about all things world schooling. We'll be covering travel destinations and events, education options for our kids. We'll talk about what it takes to get going and what it takes to keep going. On World School TV, we're here to support you in every possible way. Great. And what was it about Bali that um, made you feel like, yep, this is this is for us? Um, it's just easy. <laughs> and I like to say to people, it feels like my heart has found home. There's a special energy here. Um, there's meridian lines that cross here, making it a strong feminine energy here. So I think it's, um, it's amazing because you meet so many single moms here um, and so many women here uh, in Ubud. It definitely outweighs, uh, there's more women than men. Yeah. And so for me, because my husband travels a lot, um, I single parent probably about half the time. Uh, and it's, I feel so safe and secure here. Uh, and I love what it has to offer. I find it very nurturing. So from the yoga to breathwork classes to sound healing classes, um, to plenty of great cafes with excellent food. Um, we decided not to cook anymore. I'm like, why go grocery shopping? Why put effort into cooking? <laughs> why have to clean up dishes when you can go to an amazing place, have delicious, healthy food for the same price? Yeah. It doesn't make any sense. And uh, my husband likes cooking. So when he's here, he'll cook a little bit because he enjoys it, but I don't actually enjoy it. So um, I don't cook anymore. And there's just, there's so many benefits. Um, we have, we live in this beautiful, you can see it's like kind of a wooden um, two bedroom house with a pool looking onto the rice fields. And um, we couldn't do that without the cost of living here being so much lower than in Canada. You know, we wouldn't have um, this beautiful environment to live in. Um, but I'll admit one of the things I thought would be easy here was, was friends and community. And it was actually more challenging than I thought when I got here. Um, and so, uh, I found it's a very transient place. And right. I think that's something that we all, we experience a lot when we're world schooling and traveling. Um, you know, we've, we travel a lot and we meet these amazing people, but then inevitably you have to say goodbye because they're on to the next destination or it's time for us to leave for our next destination. Mm -hmm. And so I would meet these fabulous people here, but they kept moving on. Uh, and I thought, well, if I put my son in school, cause he loves school, he wants to go to school as an only child. It, you know, it supports his need for that sense of community. I thought I'll meet the parents, but many parents, um, they don't speak English or they have their kids dropped off by their drivers and Bantus. And I just, I didn't find that sense of community at school either. So, um, so I decided to, after many goodbyes and things after a year here, uh, coming back in September, I just felt like I was starting all over, had to make brand new friends and, um, decided I would build the community that I want. And now it's, now it's even better. Now I definitely don't want to leave Bali because now we have this strong community that you're a part of, um, and so many people that are here longer term and so many people that want to now come and stay longer term and activities and things like our, um, our family meet up uh, every Tuesday. So that's happening tonight. That's so fun. So I, I'm interested to know, how did you actually do it though? Like I know it was coming from a need or a desire of yours to, to have a community, but you're in a country that you don't know. Like how long ago did you actually start building community? How long had you been here before you decided you needed it, needed to do this? Um, it was more than a year. Uh, it, was, it was over a year. And I think I decided that I, I needed it and I started to, to meet a few people, um, but it just, it, it didn't click, it wasn't flowing. I'd met some people, but it wasn't like we were seeing each other on a regular basis. And when my husband left this January, so we'd arrived October 2017, so it was more than a year, this January uh, 2019, I felt alone again. 
And I just thought, you know, I'm going out to dinner every night with my son and sitting here and trying to have a conversation with him and make it interesting and stay off tech. And he's not loving it because yeah. I'm not that interesting as far as he's concerned. <laughs> yeah. And I just thought, you know, there must be other families that feel just like I do that want to get together for dinner so the kids can play and have fun and we can have adult conversation um, and enjoy. And so um, because I'd met like a few people here and I, I just decided to put it out there on Facebook. And so I created an event on Facebook, um, Tuesday Family Meetups uh, at a fun kid-friendly place, which Ubud has tons of. So we either go somewhere with a pool or a playground or loads of room to run around and fun stuff for kids. Um, every Tuesday and you know the first uh, the first meetup we had four families and and most of them I knew well, actually there was one family that came that was brand new and then the next meetup we had nine families wow and it's just gone crazy from there um, I was trying to count last Tuesday because it was so big and there was just there was too many people moving and then people were just <laughs> everywhere um, but you know I think it was it was probably close to 17 families. And when you have 17 families that have one to four children, that's a lot of people. Mm -hmm. I mean, we took over the place. Yeah. <laughs> um, it, was, it was really fun and they've become really fun. And it really ebbs and flows where about 50% of the people are here long-term and 50% of the people are kind of passing through. And I love that because it means it's a different energy and you get to meet new people each week it gives people traveling through these world schoolers that are just in Bali for maybe a month, a, a way to integrate into the community so quickly and meet other families that they might, you know, have kids the same age and connect with and find out what's going on here in town. And then it also gives those of us that are here a long term, you know, a, a real sense of strong friendships and community. And then from that, we, we kind of spawned all these other things because it, it gave me so much confidence having built the Tuesday nights that I'm like, well, I also want, like mom's night out. I want to get together with the women and really talk about like juicy subjects. So we started that and we meet once a month. And then my good friend, Michelle, she wanted um, wisdom, uh, women in business meetups. And so we started that every second week that have like um, a theme and a topic where we're supporting women entrepreneurs and us moms that are working online, most of us or in different um, modalities here, getting together and learning business techniques and talking about things that help us in our business. And then we started um, family weekend getaways um, and beach days and just really out of a desire to build what we want. You know, when people have come, wow, Tammy, look at what you've created. I'm like, I did it all selfishly. I'll be honest. Like I created what I wanted, yeah. right? I wanted, you know, awesome women to hang out with. I wanted families that my kid would be happy hanging out with. You know, I wanted things to do because I'm an extrovert and I like to talk to people and I like to have a full schedule. So when I look at my calendar, like every name of the week, I was like, ah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so it's just, it's really come together and I'm having so much fun um, really doing it uh, and, and just, you know, hearing, you know, what people want and need and then pulling it together and you know, we have the Bally School Expo this Saturday that I'm super excited about. And it's a full family fun day with all these kids activities, but also all the schools from international schools to alternative schools to the homeschooling groups are all coming to be able to share what's available here for families. So I'm excited about that.